Dr. Peter Agra and I launched the Science Diplomacy Hub in Washington last year. And we're focusing on this new field intersecting the worlds of science and diplomacy and policy making. So I wonder, what does it mean to you and how has it evolved over the years? Well, personally, I really think that it's very unfortunate that we have to talk about this. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to go without saying that people need to be curious and uh, trust in science, trust in facts, and so on. And yet, we have to talk about the science diplomacy and promoting the scientific way of thinking. At the same time, I'm really uh, surprised how robust is the scientific approach. That amazes me all the time. So science has this ability of self-cleaning self and self-focusing. How it does it, I have absolutely no clue, but that's, uh, that's the, it's the uh, scientific principles which are based in, in our scientific methods, which, we, which were, just, were just back to the Bacon time probably, and, uh, and uh, th that's, that's encouraging. Science itself will survive, and, and, and surprisingly it will, it will even, even flourish. Thank you.